A major railway exercise took place close to Houston Station and the Phoenix Park in Dublin, involving around 200 members of the Civil Defence and Irish Red Cross. The focus of the exercise was a terror-related incident, which resulted in a Limerick-bound train colliding with an obstruction in the tunnel. On arrival at the scene, Civil Defence and Red Cross teams were faced with a distressed situation, with a lot of casualties trying to exit the tunnel. Given the scale of the incident and the numbers of casualties and their injuries, a casualty identification and priority system was implemented. Well, uh, when we walked in, we noticed, uh, first of all, there was a lot of casualties shouting and screaming. Uh, they were terrified, as you would expect. So uh, we quickly had to prioritise uh, who was able to walk and help themselves and the patients that couldn't help themselves because they were the ones that really needed us. What will happen now when we're all finished is we'll all sit down and we'll have a bit of a debrief and anything that we feel can, that went well, we'll say, and anything that needs to be improved, uh, we'll have a chat about it and then make an ongoing training plan to correct them issues. Because we're only uh, an auxiliary uh, organisation, we don't get to do these real life events uh, too often. So it's important that we keep our ongoing training. So if it ever does happen, we're ready for such events. As hospitals across the city were overwhelmed, many casualties from the train were treated on the train or in the tunnel. A triage was set up outside the tunnel, where other casualties were taken until hospital transfer was available. The walking wounded were taken off the train using ladders, while civil defence members used railway buggies to bring other casualties a distance of about half a mile from inside the tunnel to the outside. A total of 86 passengers were on board the train. 30 people were uninjured, 25 were described as walking wounded, while 24 were seriously injured. Six people died in the incident, while one person was unaccounted for. The incident, from our point of view, was to deal with a rail incident in the, under, in the tunnel under the Phoenix Park. Uh, we had approximately 80, between 80 and 90 casualties on a train, varying injuries, some walking wounded, some with serious injuries. It would be a huge learning curve in this for us, for, particularly at officer level, where people would be asked to, to step up to roles that they wouldn't normally fill and we'd be doing, using that as a training as well. It does have a tra huge training value for the, for the crews treating patients, but it has enormous value for officers who are required to manage these sort of operations. The exercise was to test the capabilities of the civil defence in such an event. It was also a learning curve for many volunteers who would not normally be faced with scenes such as this. It's exercises like today are the ones that it's, it's like you know it's it's how we kind of nail everything down, get everything precise. All our training that you do on a weekly basis comes together on on days like this, you know, and it's it's how we we, we all work together as a team. Today went brilliant. Today was it was a brilliant day. Today it was a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of hard work put in by all the volunteers. Irish Rail was the lead authority for the exercise and plans between Irish Rail and Dublin Civil Defence have been ongoing for over four months. Specialist equipment used by the services was a new lighting and backup lighting system. Four inflatable tents were used to treat casualties while Tetra and VHF radio systems were also used to communicate between teams on the train, inside the tunnel and those in the command and control unit. Training for these events is crucial among the voluntary services and having volunteers faced with these situations is a major learning curve for all involved. Dublin Civil Defence Officer James McConnell said the exercise was a success and it provides the volunteers with hands-on experience outside of the classroom. The exercise today was in conjunction with Irish Rail. We had approximately 200 volunteers from Dublin Civil Defence and about 15 from Red Cross and we simulated a uh, train hit an obstruction in the tunnel beside Houston Station and it was to test our logistical uh, emergency lighting and medical and setting up a triage system uh, to, to evacuate uh, patients. And it was a very good test um, for our volunteer officers, but you can't do this in the classroom. The railway exercise was observed by members of the Department of Transport, the Department of Defence, Health Service Executive and on Garda Síochána. Declan Kyo for emergencytimes.com, Dublin.